All right, welcome to yet another video on the blues. We've looked at some concepts in terms of playing rhythm guitar in the blues. Let's check out what we can do in terms of soloing. If you've never soloed before, it can be a little bit daunting. You wonder, well, what notes am I supposed to play? What am I supposed to do? There's a great device that can get you soloing pretty quickly, especially over the blues and it's called the pentatonic scale. And uh, pentatonic refers to five notes being in this scale. And it's really like the five notes that really fit throughout the blues. And you really can't go wrong with playing those notes in a solo. So that's why we start with it. So check this out. We're gonna learn what's called the A minor pentatonic. And that's gonna work great over some of the progressions you've learned um, in the A blues when we were playing through A and D and E and so on. All right? So check this out. We're going to jump up to the fifth fret on the sixth string, and we're going to play that with our first finger. All right? So let's grab that first. We've got fifth fret, sixth string, first finger. We're going to follow that up by eighth fret with our pinky on the same string. All right? Now check out how this is going to be um, fairly simple for you guys. Our next three strings are all fingered the same way. They're all going to be first finger, third finger, fifth and seventh frets. So check this out. We've got fifth, seventh. We're going to do the same thing on the next string. Fifth, seventh. And then the same thing on the third string, fifth, seventh. So let's just take that right now, okay? Remember, we've got fifth and eighth on the sixth string. And we're going to follow that up with three strings where we play five and seven. Finally, strings two and one are going to be fretted the same way as the sixth string, where we played fifth fret and eighth fret. All right? So it's going to look like this. And make sure you use your pinky. And then same thing. And I really want to emphasize with this scale to make sure to use the correct fingering. In general, when we're playing the fifth fret, we're going to be using our first finger. When playing the eighth fret, we're going to use our pinky. And when we're playing the seventh fret, we're going to use our third finger. So I'm going to play through the scale one time for you, just so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's just going up the scale. Now, let's try going down, starting at the highest note, all right? great exercise you can do is to play that in time and go up and back down. Let's try that together. So let's just call those quarter notes and I'll count off. One, two, ready, and... And we're going to play the top note just once. So go back down. Excellent, excellent. So definitely spend some time with that scale. You're going to be using that scale, I guarantee you, for um, the entirety of your time um, on the instrument of the guitar. Um, and in terms of getting started with soloing, first of all, just get the scale um, moving smoothly up and down, but then experiment. I really encourage you to try jumping around within that scale. You can make really interesting and um, uh, very, actually, good melodies just jumping around within that. Check it out.
So you're not gonna be jumping around like that right away. But those were just the five notes in the pentatonic scale and I made a pretty interesting solo. So definitely spend some time with this and you're gonna get a lot of use out of it.